I want to give some people an opportunity to tune in because some of the things I'm about to say uh, will probably motivate you and hopefully it'll encourage you by the end of this broadcast because it's time for people to get back on the positive side of things in life. I'm tired of people having their heads hanging down and looking defeated. So stay tuned because what I'm going to give theoretically and inspirationally to date, I believe it's going to bless somebody. See, what I want to talk about today is people going through a personal storm in their life. I don't know who's watching this live broadcast, but God bless you, name by name, city to city, state to state, country by country. Because like I said, I don't know who's going to be commenting on this broadcast, who's tuning in, but if you tune in, and not to take you away from the church services that you are attending right now, but I believe that if I give you something to encourage you along the way, then we'll all be the better for it. So I pray today that those that are watching this live broadcast will tune in because the things I'm about to say will will help us all along the way because I like for people to understand that when it comes to encouraging someone, I want to try to be a blessing to somebody because I don't know what type of situation or dilemma you are facing or what type of storm you're facing, but I want to stop here to tell you on this live broadcast, today is going to be the day that you overcome any type of adversity or any kind of personal storm in your life. In other words, you've been having this great cloud hanging around your head for so long because so many people fail to realize that God is the strength of our lives and he helps us in our everyday life. So I pray today that by the end of this broadcast that you will uh, be blessed by the words that I that come out of my mouth and I ask God to help me uh, encourage somebody today because this is an eye-opener for me. And so today I want to talk to somebody that's going through a personal storm in their life. I don't know, like I said, I don't know what type of dilemma you're facing, what type of storm you're going through in your personal life. But I often tell people, the test that you take, you turn that test and you turn it into a testimony. And the mess that you went through, you turn that mess and turn it into a message because people do not know what your real testimony is unless you are willing to share what God has done for you to other to share it with other people. And so I encourage you today, if y'all can be able to tune in to this live broadcast, let me know when you can do that because I want to try to uh, bless somebody today with this theoretical thought that I'm about to give and not just in general but from an inspirational standpoint as well. So like I said, I pray today, those that are tuning in to this live broadcast, please know I'm for you and I'm not against you, but I want to continue to shed some light on some things because people need to know the truth and I try to be real with everybody 100% of the time and if not, I can find a better way to try to enhance that by keeping it real with you all. See, the devil hates it when the truth be told. And so people have been having their heads hanging down for so long to the point where they just want to be defeated and want to throw in the towel. And that's not all to be so when it comes to uh, standing up for being positive and for what's right. But somebody's going through a personal storm in their life. Now, whoever that is, believe it or not, I want to stop here and tell you the storm that you've been going through for so long is over. You need to look up and you can be able to so you can be able to see the sun shine again, okay? Somebody needs to hear this. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who's commenting on this live broadcast, who's reacting to this video as of yet, or whatever the case might be. But somebody's going through a personal storm in their life. And I'm here to tell you, the storm that you've been through for so long, let me tell you something. That storm that you're dealing with in your personal life is over. The struggle that you're going through is over. Somebody needs to understand this. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know who this is for, but every storm that you went through, every test and trial and every tribulation you've gone through, just know that 
not only is the storm is over, but the struggle is also over. Now, I don't know, like I said, who this is for, but somebody needs to receive that inspiration by faith. Take it by faith. Receive it by faith. Okay? Because anytime I give a theoretical thought, not just in general, but in from an inspirational standpoint, somebody needs to hear it. It might save somebody's life. Now, like I said, too many people are having their heads hanging down so low that being defeated, they want to give up and throw in the towel. But let me tell you something, don't do it. It's not worth doing that. Because when you allow yourself to throw in the towel and give up like that, let me tell you something, that's where the devil has you. He knows your weak point. But remind the devil, this is not what God would have you to do. Okay? So if anybody, I'll say this again, if anybody watching this video today, let me tell y'all something. You are unique, and you are blessed, and you are highly favored. Now, whoever this is for, you can comment on this live broadcast at any time, react to this video, and please be sure to share this video with everybody because, again, every storm that you went through, every struggle that you dealt with in your personal life, I don't care if it's something have to do with your relationship with your children, or some type of marriage that you have went through, I don't care what it is, you've been going through a personal storm in your life for so long and it's like you have a cloud, a dark cloud hanging around your head for so long to the point where you can't even call God for help. Let me tell you something, God is helping you, okay? Now, like I said, not to take you all away from the church services that you are attending because I just got out of church myself. But I want to encourage somebody because, like I said from the beginning, this is an eye-opener for me because I've been through it for so long till I realized that uh, I can overcome every situation that comes into my life. Every personal storm that you dealt with, I'll say this again, every storm that you dealt with, let me tell y'all something, the storm is over, the struggle that you went through is over. Now I'm going to go ahead and say this and I pray to God, somebody be blessed by this today because, like I said, too often people are just being defeated when they know they can be victorious in everyday life, okay? I'm tired of seeing people having their heads hanging down so low to the point where they can't call God for help, okay? Now we all know what the Bible says. If you look up Jeremiah 33 and 3, it says just call unto me and I will answer you, all right? So don't think it's strange. God is not too far. God can do the impossible. Now, like I said, I don't know who this is for, but I'm hoping I'm helping somebody today because somebody needs to understand that there is a way out. Where there's a will, there's a way. You can't throw in the towel. One other thing I need to talk about is how to overcome every adversity in your life. See, one of the things the devil want to do is know your weak points. And he, when he has you at a weak point, he'll look at you and say, well, I got him now. I got her now. Yeah, I, def I got them defeated. No, no, let me tell you something. See, the thief cometh not but to kill, steal, and to destroy. But Jesus says that I have come so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Now, that's not what I said, but that's what the Word says, okay? Now, anybody, once again, God bless you once again, name by name, city to city, state to state, country to country. Whoever's watching this live broadcast, let me remind you, you've been going through a storm for so long, and it's like you have a cloud a gray cloud, a dark gray cloud hanging over your head for so long and you feel like you want to give up. Well, let me stop here to tell you on this live broadcast. Don't you do it. Don't you give up. You've come too far to do that. All right? If you truly believe that God is a way maker and you truly believe that you can overcome every obstacle that endeavors to stand in your way, I need somebody to comment right now and say, I can do this. I'm going to win. I'm going to overcome this thing with the help of God. Because people need to realize every test and trial that you went through, like I said before, you take that test and you turn it into a testimony. The mess that you've been through, you take that mess and you turn it into a message. See, people need to hear the truth about what all you've been through and how you overcame it so you can help others to overcome whatever type of adversity that they're facing. See, if you can't help them, then you can't, you, you got to start helping you. Do you hear what I say? So start realizing that you can overcome this thing. I don't care 
what it is you're going through in life. Every personal storm, as I indicated earlier, I don't care if it's a breakup or families being destroyed, children getting out of line, whatever the case might be. But I stop here to tell you, and like I said, I don't know who this is for, but God bless you anyway, and I pray that you all receive this. Every personal storm, every struggle you went through, let me tell y'all something once again, every storm and every struggle that you faced and you endured is over. Now you can be able to continue on with the race until you reach the finish line. Do you hear what I say? So let me encourage y'all once again, don't lose faith. Stop belittling yourself. Receive this positive affirmation today from a theoretical and inspirational standpoint because I truly believe that every situation that you face and every dilemma that you deal with, you will be able to overcome this with the help of God. All you got to do is just pray to God to ask him to help you in every area of your life. It's just that simple. Just put him in his word. Put him in remembrance of his word. We know. You should know. So I stop here to tell you today. Lord knows I tried to be a blessing to somebody because, like I said, somebody has poured the same thing into my life and I receive it. Even though I didn't want to, but it was the right thing to do. I want to be blessed. I want to bless somebody with this, what I be saying, that comes out of my mouth the way that God would have me to say it. So I believe, and I truly believe in my heart, if you are watching this live video, I believe that you are being able to overcome every adversity and every situation that you face in your life. I truly believe that not only are you an overcomer, but you are helping others to overcome every personal problem and every situation that people are facing because, like I said, people do not even know your real testimony unless you are willing to share it. Okay, just remember what the Word of God says in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 11. They that overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. See, you are a testimony in your own environment. I don't care where you're at, where you are, but God bless you once again, city by city, state by state, name by name, country to country. I pray today that you receive this theoretical thought from an inspirational standpoint, not just in general, because this is an eye-opener for me as well. And I pray today that you guys be truly blessed. And y'all, stay prayed up, keep the faith, and keep on grinding, keep on shining, and don't let nobody tell you different, okay? I'm Mr. Turnaround. God bless you. See you next time.